Hey crew, Mark Hatmaker here. Let's uh, do a little bit of a warrior walking uh, addendum. Uh, we've, as you know, we've got a new product, a uh, uh, new program out. Well, actually, uh, two complete 12 week programs for those uh, regarding the original road work used by Old Tool Combination. And that's early boxers, early wrestlers, but actually it's got roots deeper than that going back into some indigenous tribe work. But one thing we did not include on there was talking about a possibility of a flexibility issue because there's a lot of curious engagement with the foot. Uh, I don't feel like it's necessary for many if you're already, you know, a, a, an athlete and playing around with your yoga or any of it, like our pliant physique from unleaded, uh, our, our unleaded material. But in case you are running into some sort of tightness uh, uh, in the feet or you, you have problems with plantar fasciitis or whatever, we're going to give you uh, a little short battery of material that you can do to kind of, you know, make sure that the feet are hanging tight for you. Uh, turn profile. I've already been doing it is where you're just going to kind of sit in this position so you're kind of getting that stretch across the uh, uh, anterior tibialis which is you know that little uh, nice strip of meat right here on the outside of uh, your shun shin bone right there but you're going to find if you just sit back in this if you're not able to you can kind of lean forward uh, on your hands a little bit but basically sitting back on that where you're getting comfortable a uh, small bit uh, from some of the old schoolers that really particular about this point is not to have the knees tight in line with the hips wherever your hip line is you put those knees just in the outside of that and really actually this is a reading from a position from me i do a whole lot of reading from this uh, down position here i do my morning suaketu from here some do it from a cross-legged position but i found in the historical record this was actually more common so this kind of what i do we don't have to do it but out of that uh, dorsiflexor next we're usually going to find that people have some uh uh, a great deal of flexibility issue across the sole of the foot itself the next position we come out of from here is rising up I'll turn to the side rise up go on to the balls of the feet and again you want to really let that settle in there often what happens if we're tight in this position you will find yourself kind of kicking forward a little bit that's okay you got to find where you're going to be at or if you have to take more pressure off of it you can kind of go a little bit of a gorilla down right here that's all right but optimally what we're trying to find now is that we can sit down with that good uh, uh posture position straight on top of the ball of the feet allow that to kind of kick into play again i use this as a reading position you're going to go how long to do these you can do run them about 30 seconds if you want but i kind of switch around i know if i'm running oh, i'll read a few pages of the dorsiflexor down position read a few pages here and i kind of keep uh, keep switching uh these out is that all there is no you're going to keep carrying this on you can actually roll this forward make toe knuckles put this on the mat and again sit back now many of us are not that comfortable doing this. I know when I first started doing these yeah, uh, years back, ooh, didn't care for it, but actually gets to, oh, this is all right. Settle into it, really, really gets a nice little uh, stretch in there again. But how long? 30 seconds. Minnow, again, I use it as a reading position. And one more to go, because uh, there's a whole lot of big toe, or it's actually the split position. So if this is the big toe, I'm going to flip the analogy of the hand, big toe, and the secondary toe. A lot of our peel off and warrior walking is coming down this midline right here. So this next one here is actually called the split foot, uh, split toe, and it's actually taking that big toe forward and the rest of the toes back, kind of get that weird view back here, big toe forward, split the rest of those back. So you're splitting those toes apart. Now this might be really uncomfortable in the beginning for some, but on that split toe position, perfectly okay. It takes some weight off of it, so you can maybe give yourself maybe 80 to 90 percent up here, only 10 percent here. But oddly, you're going to get to where you're able to settle back into that, feel pretty good about it. I do recommend when you first start this one out, when you had a split toe on it, you're not letting that big toe go relax. There's a little bit of give on it, meaning so if this my thumb is the big toe, I'm pushing into that mat, pushing into the ground the entire time. But again, the order would be in steps down, ball of the feet, knuckles of the feet, and then into split toe position, and you're going to find that's usually you're good to go. There should not be any calf cramping out of warrior walking because you've got to, you're not really doing any push off with it. It's more about that uh, that psoas pendulum. And again, if any of that sound like golly, you go take a look at that uh, uh, warrior walking material. Uh, we put up so much scientific ba uh, background for it, so much historical basis for it. Uh, this should be probably filling the holes that last a little bit. I kind of regret I didn't throw it in there, a little bit of flexibility. But now that error has been corrected.